What's going on everybody? JT here coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go and today we're going to be focusing on the Pikachu tasks because there's a lot of people in my friends list that haven't been able to get a shiny world's Pikachu and I want to be able to give them one just in case they don't end up getting one themselves. So we've got the Pikachu shirt on so I think we've got the luck right? We've got three of the tasks. Let's see what happens with number one. Come on shiny on the first one. Let's do it. That's not it though unfortunately and it is a 395. That's okay but 402 is the Honda. Encounter number two of the video. Please be shiny. Nope. And is it a hundo? Oh, close. That's two off the hundo. That's awesome. And the final one from this batch. What are you? Not shiny. Female and a 389. Two more Pikachu quests. Number uno is not shiny and 392. It's okay. And the second one is going to be not shiny either and 385. I've done a few of these quests and I haven't been lucky yet. I love it when the Pikachu quest is literally on a challenger. It's the greatest feeling. But is it shiny? Come on. Ah, nope. And 383. Oh no. Not shiny. And dose. What are you? Also not shiny and a 373. Just brought down a Pikachu raid. I didn't even see the CP, so this might be a good one. Is it good? Well, it's not shiny. It's a female and 515. All right, so 536 of the Hondo. So this one's okay, but not amazing. Another raid Pikachu. This one's a female, and I really want to get the shiny female because I love the hardtail. Honestly, I think it's just more fun to have shiny females with the whole, you know, costumes on. I just like them better. So please be shiny. No, it's not. And it was like 500 CP, right? Yeah, 500. Another Pikachu on the Challenger. What do we got? Not a shiny one, that's for sure. And a 380. Another Pikachu. They're getting a little scarce now. This one isn't shiny and 376. These are the last two I can do right now. So let's see what this one is going to be. It is not shiny, unfortunately, and a 388. And the second one is also not shiny. Oh my goodness. And a 383. And with those Pikachus out of the way, I've got some adulting I have to do. Plus there's a big storm coming, so I don't even want to be outside right now. But something amazing happened yesterday and I really want you to see it. So I'm going to take you back in time. People of the future, I bring great news. Look, we got it. The very last one we needed. The very final shiny shadow Bulbasaur. Let's just get a pineapple on this thing. And we are officially done with that shiny shadow set. Huzzah. Oh, so close to an excellent. That would have been beautiful. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're going to get it because it is a shiny shadow. It is a guaranteed catch. I am so happy right now. So freaking happy. Can't believe that we got this. I only did a couple clips today as well. So very, very good. Let's take a look at these IVs. What are you? Well, it's actually not bad, two star, but I think I'm probably gonna evolve the other one, but you're gonna figure that out when I go back to the present. And on that note, let's go back to the present. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially done with the shiny shadows, but we need to evolve one of the Ivy Swords into a Venusaur. We have this one right here, which is the one that we caught yesterday. I already evolved it. And then we have this one that I've named Venu116 for Ultra League. So I wonder which one I'm gonna evolve into the Venusaur. I think it's probably going to be this one right here. So let's do it. Unfortunately, it will not have Frenzy Plant right now, but we can obviously give it in the future, or I could just do it like right now, give it an extra move and give it Frenzy Plant. But it's really cool to have this. I do actually have a better one for Ultra League. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna use this one, but there it is. Shiny Shadow Venusaur looks amazing. Absolutely fantastic. And I wanna see how close it actually gets to the uh, Ultra League stats. So in total, we would have to bring it to a, let's keep going. All right, actually 2493 is not bad at all. Let's just do it, why not, right? If I'm actually going to use this possibly in the future, there we go. Oh, that's so cool. I don't really have any shiny shadows that are very, very useful, you know what I mean? So it's cool to have one that I might actually have use for in the future. And as you can see right here, we have every single one of them. We got the Bulbasaur family complete at last, which is also kind of fitting, seeing that we, you know, kind of got these last out of all of them. The Charmander family was the second family that I finished, but the first family that I started. And I'm still happy that I have this one specifically that has Dragon Breath and Blast Burn. It's so cool that we were able to do that. And then, of course, the Squirtle family which was the first one to complete but the second one to begin with and honestly it looks really good to shiny shadows i wasn't too sure about them but with the purple aura and the purple skin they look actually pretty darn good and when it comes down to the shiny shadows in general i have 77 but if we're talking about like living deck stuff i have almost every one of them except i don't have an arbuck as you can tell from the ekans there and i don't have coughing or wheezing for some reason james didn't like me very much but hopefully in the future he'll show back up and we can actually get those sets completed because other than that i have any every one of them done and it feels really good. I have yet to actually miss one that I could actively hunt. I don't really count Jesse and James because they were RNG if they were even going to show up. And then for that, you had to hope that they would give you the shiny shadow. You know what I mean? So unfortunately, 
they're still kind of a bust, but uh, yeah, we've definitely been grinding hard, as you can tell, especially for these Carvanas. I really wanted one that I could purify into a Shundo. Didn't happen, unfortunately. If it does come back, I will be grinding it like crazy, which will be terrible for my bank account. And now we're done doing all that adult stuff, and man, something cool just dropped. We know the spawns that are going to be showing up for the South Korea Safari Zone, so let's dive into it. And here's the article. Pokemon Go Safari Zone Goyang. Tickets are now available for South Korea's first Safari Zone event. And here is the picture. As you can see, we have G-O-Y-A-N, or for Goyang, basically. It's pretty cool, and especially because we are going to have Unknown Y. That'll be our brand new shiny that hasn't been released yet. Plus, we have Unknown N, which has showed up for Pokemon World. Worlds, and it's also going to show up for the GoFest finale as a shiny, so that's also neat. And then we have these Pokemon in here, Blue Flower Flabebe, which I'm actually pretty down with. Even though that this shows up there naturally, it is a somewhat pretty rare spawn. When I was in Europe, I didn't see hardly any red flowers, so having a ton of them around will actually be good for me because I want to get a few of them. And then we have Dratini, which is a calm day spawn, not the most exciting thing really. And then we have our regional for the event, which is going to be Carnivine. For a lot of people, this is very exciting. As a person that lives in Florida, not super exciting because I see them everywhere, but I can understand for a lot of people, these will be absolutely fantastic. And then lastly, we have Spritzy here, which is going to be our brand new shiny for this event, and it looks great. It turns purple, and when it evolves into Romomatiz, it's also purple, and they will also have these little Spritzy spotlight hours at the beginning of every single hour of the event. For the first two minutes of the hour, there's going to be Spritzies everywhere, so hopefully I can get a few shinies of it because it does look really, really good. According to this, we're going to have three additional special trades, which means we can do five during your play day, and that will only be for people with tickets during that day. Don't try to trade with somebody who doesn't have a ticket. It will not work. Trades made during this event will require 50% less Stardust. That's pretty awesome. Enjoy a short event-themed special research story, which at the end usually gives you a shiny of the brand new Pokemon. So no matter what, you're going to get a shiny Spritzy no matter what if you show up to this event. There's going to be event-themed field research available, which means that you'll have more chances of getting the Pokemon that are spawning as their shinies with decent IVs. Incense activated during the event will last for eight whole hours. So if you want to stack it up, you can do, I think, I think three or four of them and you'll be able to hit max, which is really cool. And lore modules activated during this event will last for four whole hours, which is great for that badge. And here are the Pokemon that are going to be showing up. We have Caterpie, we have a Pikachu wearing a Safari hat. I don't know if it's going to be the same one that we always get. I don't know why they put question marks here. Maybe it will be a different Pikachu, which would be exciting. Dratini, Unknown A, G, N, O, Y, Wurmple, Ralts, Surskit, Sableye, Lilip, Feebas, Love Disc, Bidoof, Plant Cloak, Burmy, Combi, Carnival, Vine, Pidove, Cottony, Blue Flower Flabebe, Spritzy, and Stuffle. Now, I'm going to be very honest here. These spawns do not look that incredible. I mean, there are some cool things in here, like Combi is a still pretty rare shiny. Plus, if you can get a female for the evolution, that's going to be huge. But then there's also things like Cottony, pretty good for PvP. It's a really useful Pokemon. The Blue Flower Full Baby, again, is pretty rare. Unless you're a local, you'll probably have a few of these. And of course, the unknowns will be spawning in the wild and on the incenses, which is pretty nice. And of course, if the Pikachu is new, that'd be great as well. But other than that, I mean, we got Caterpie, Wurmple, Ralts. You know, there's some things that can't be shiny, like Sarskit, Carnivine, you know, this an okay looking event. I think that they could have spiced it up a little bit more, but all in all, I would say that at the moment, this is looking like a solid probably 6 or 7 out of 10 in terms of spawns, in my opinion. But with that being said, I am actually going to this Safari Zone. I can't wait. I've wanted to go to South Korea for quite some time, and I'm really excited to go. I've got quite a few things that I want to do while I'm over there, a lot of fun little videos, so yeah. This sounds like it's going to be a great time, and if you're going to go to this event, please let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to smash that like button for me, show me some love, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload. Links for Patreon and merch are in the description box below. But with that being said, this is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.